So we're here with J&J Tips. Today we're going to show you a meatloaf recipe that is amazing. Alright, so first thing first, wash your hands. I'm hungry. description below. First thing walk you through real quick here. Alright, we're doubling the recipe right now because this is so good. I love it. Okay. Alright. So first things first, create the oven 350. Take some chips. <laughs> take, take a little chip snack time. Alright. <clears throat> Next step. Large bowl, add beef, breadcrumbs. So we're just gonna go one at a time. Add oh, to the, you already add to the bowl, right? yep. Oh. So this is over there. Okay. So we'll do the beef. Yep, we'll add the beef first. And you can wear gloves for this if you want. If you're cooking for a big group of people. You don't want to get your hands up nasty and stuff. Yeah, or if you're cooking for a bunch of people, then I recommend wearing gloves. But if it's just you and someone else, Except for both of you, if you want to do it that way or not, we're fine. <laughs> Squeeze it. Alright, so the beef is done, breadcrumbs are next. And then it's. How many? Uh, one cup of breadcrumbs. Okay, one cup of breadcrumbs. Yep. And I think. All we have for breadcrumbs, actually. Oh, is, is one cup doubled? Okay, hey, this should be plenty. One cup is one thing. One cup is... The, is that we are doubling is two cups. So, we're two cups total? Yes. So, say two cups, not one cup. I'm just saying that... Yeah. How we're making it, so two yeah. cups. All right, two cups. I'm not, I'm just telling you that's how, because you just said we're doubling it, so yeah. you were making two cups, not yep. one cup. This doesn't want to open. Mm. Yeah. Okay, and then, and then if, if you don't have breadcrumbs, you can use crackers too. Crackers croutons. Work. Or croutons work too. Yes. Yeah. It's a little longer. Look, I have more bread crumbs over here. There you go. I can use gluten free ones for the recipe I'm going to make for my stepmom. Yeah. Okay, and then. Alright. So next is onion. We need one cup onion if we're doubling it. Okay. Yep. Or since we're doubling it. Yep. We could, uh, We'll just do all of the onion. I mean, yeah, it's like one cup. Basically, yeah. It's like a tiny extra. We'll just yeah, put this in there. there. Put this onion. Alright, get that in the trash. Next is milk. We'll add one cup of milk. No. 
going to be eggs and that will be two eggs beaten so small bottle here Damn, 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 so violent You're always so violent you said beat them <laughs> be a minute submission <laughs> you can whip me too don't do what I did last time, all right? Where you crack it into the hole. You cracked and it and dumped the egg in the Instead of dumping the egg in the bowl, yeah, he cracked it and dumped the egg in the trash. And then, to, and then almost threw the <laughs> and shell. And almost threw the, the shell in the bowl. <laughs> yeah. So don't do that. Rookie mistake almost. Any other time of day. Yep. How many did you say two? Yeah, two eggs beaten. Okay. <laughs> I think you beat them with love, though. It tastes better. Don't you think? Tablespoons of ketchup. Mm. And I wasn't sure if we'd have enough ketchup, so I got another one just in case. Because it also requires ketchup for the topping part. The eggs are beaten. Mm. Tablespoons. So we're doubling this, so we need four tablespoons of ketchup. Two, two more. It's three. That one we should be the first one. Yep. <clears throat> and that one we use for the Shirt for her for her dog sitting business. She loves dogs and cats. Mostly dogs, though. Mm -hmm. Of course. All right, so we need two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Does it press Worcestershire? Worcestershire. Say that fast ten times. Even five times. Wish sauce. 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 Wish sau
Okay. Parsley. We need two hat two teaspoons of dried parsley. Elvis parsley. How many? Two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Side, in case you need it for something else later on. So if I was really making this by myself, I would probably not use the measuring or just eyeball it because I eyeball everything. Yeah, you usually do. So easier way instead of just doing that, you just take the whole top off. No, the easier way is actually gonna have it from the thing, but yeah. Teaspoon, so we're going to double that to uh, one teaspoon. One teaspoon. Shake. 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 Shake it. Shake your tail feather. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Alright. That's garlic powder. Pepper. So now we do pepper. And that is... Half teaspoon of ground black pepper. There you go. Half a teaspoon total? Half a teaspoon. For doubling it. Okay. See, I listened. I listened. It's part of the. It's it could be the tricky when you're doubling right. it and you're only looking at the single recipe and you double it. It's like, oh, sometimes you forget to double yeah. the single recipe. Just making that's sure. That's part of the good. Keeping your relationship going. Yeah, we gotta. It's listening, communication. Well, and right? keeping each other in check, exactly. Because so, sometimes it's not always 50 50. It's sometimes it's. It's like 10 90. <laughs> Usually it's 10 90. Alright. Um, now we gotta do. So now is we gotta mash it together. I'm trying to wash my hands, so we're good. Okay. So like I said, you can use gloves for the, gloves for this part if you want to. You but he get, wants to be squishy with this. I do. I want to get personal with it. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and just mash this together. I'll eat chips. There you go. Get your little snack on. And you want to try and get this really good mixed up because it will tend to stay separated a little bit. So we're just kind of trying to keep rolling it around. And mixing it up as best you can. Or until you're satisfied with the mixture. The dogs are ready to pull. What? Are you ready? Ready for what? Ready for what, sweetie? Yep. They're ready? Dogs can come in until we're done. Four dogs is too much in here. Stop it. When we're trying to cook. Clean your hands up. 
off a little bit and then it's kind of stuck to you, just kind of pull it off. next thing is to add the meat mixture to a loaf pan, pat it down into an even layer. So there's a trick for this though that we figured out. It works really well. Take some parchment paper and you're going to line your pan with parchment paper. Distracted easily, like in the middle of conversations, if we're not, whatever, doing something, and she'll just see something and just blurt it out. It's kind of why I love her because if she doesn't say it right away, then she'll forget about it later on. So I noticed this after when we were together for like the first year, and then <laughs> I remember watching an episode of Family Guy with Peter Griffin and this shiny red ball where he runs into the street and causes an accident 
because he's declared mentally retarded. But for her, it's more of she has to say it whatever she sees. I had, I had a lot of chemotherapy when I had cancer, and so it really messed with my short-term memory. Yeah. And so I was diagnosed with short-term memory loss, and um, when I was 18. And that was the second time you had cancer. Yeah, the second time. I had to go through, it was like a four-hour memory test that I had to go through, and it was so frustrating going through that because they were like, obviously test your memory. And yeah, after all they decided I have short-term memory loss from all the chemotherapy, but that's why I struggle with my memory issues. But yeah. But it's nice because you can laugh about it. Yeah, it's sometimes nice. sometimes it's Thursdays <clears throat> where it's okay, and then there's days where it gets to be really frustrating. Yeah. But mostly it's pretty funny. So. Uh, um. Okay. So, right, so trick next. is next thing I wanna just warn about is. No, oh, hold this. We. <laughs> babe, you're funny. We should probably. Okay. What? This is what happens when you let your husband cut the parchment paper for the meatloaf. He's going to start a fire in the oven. It's me. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what would happen if I let it go on like this. But first, we got to make sure we cut it down. You don't have to. Okay. This is going to start a fire. <laughs> well, it's a fire extinguisher for four. If you have one. <laughs> Every house should have one. If you have someone like me. <laughs> what are you going to think that is? <laughs> it's like the most awkward way to cut something. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. There you go. Okay, here. Mm -hmm. There you go. Fire. Maybe a little fire. Just a little bit. Okay, but yeah, maybe no fire. Look at this! You can wrap a present with that. Damn. <laughs> I was going to wrap a gift for you, but with that, but alright. Oh, fine. I love you. No gift for it's you. It's not cutting. Why isn't it cutting? And you're ripping more and more and more off. <laughs> alright. Oh, the so, sauce. Yep. Um, so next is the sauce. So that is going to be three ingredients, yep. which is super easy: ketchup, brown, brown sugar, sugar, and red wine vinegar. Yeah. Not red wine. You can try it, but that's up to you. Oh, that so, so we yeah, need half a cup of half ketchup. A cup of ketchup. You're the easy way. You see, brand new one. Mm -hmm. Squeeze the bottle. So half a cup of ketchup if we're doubling the recipe again. <clears throat> and then next will be brown sugar. Push this out of the way. Brown sugar is delicious, I will say that. It adds to a lot of stuff and it tastes great. 
four. I always add more if you want to be a little sweeter. It's up to you. But we're just going to follow the recipe for now. Ooh, actually, we have to quadruple this because of the sauce part. Remember? Yeah. So, yeah. Let's redo that. So, we need to do... Well, so we, we quadrupled the sauce did. Yep. because... So, do another half cup of ketchup. We kind of like... We like... Personally, we like the sauce a lot more. So, um, we usually... So Double. since we're doubling the recipe, we're quadrupling the sauce because yeah, it's so good. just like a little more. But yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, like we said, we'll just put the right. recipe up for you guys. Yep, you can just follow the recipe if you want to double it. You can do whatever you want. All right, so we need another half cup of ketchup. You want to get another half cup? Quarter cup to me. Yeah, but double it. We're quadru quadruple oh, the yeah. original recipe. Th I'm thinking, I'm thinking triple. Okay. No, because remember we're quadruple. Mm -hmm. See, this is this is why we cook together. We wouldn't get things done. <laughs> you can do it that way if you don't want to measure it. It's up to you. <laughs> I don't want to be dirty. That's good. <laughs> hey, I got four eyes right now. I should be good. You do have excellent vision, yeah. All right, so I need one. Two. Like I said again, we're quadrupling this, so it calls for two. So we're doing four. Four tablespoons right. of the red wine vinegar. One. <clears throat> it calls for one two, tablespoon in the ingredients. Three. So, like you said, we're quadrupling in that, so it's four. Four. I thought about it. I wonder what it tastes like with syrup in it. Like maple syrup in, in the sauce. It would make it sweeter, of course. Yeah. We could try it sometime. Yeah, definitely try it sometime. Alright. And then that is it. So now we just gotta mix this up. Nice if you use this. Yeah. Sorry. Should I use the thing that I already have dirty? It's a spoon, measuring spoon. Alright, use the whisk since it's already dirty. Shrimp it off. Go and do it. Whisk it. Whisk it. Whisk away. We'll whisk it away and we'll whisk, whisk you away. And mix it as much as you want. Go crazy with it. Have fun. You can drop faces in there and stuff like that. So now we just got to pour this on top. Yes. Pour it over. So add the meat mixture to the loaf pan. We did that. So now we mix everything in a small bowl for the sauce. And now we're going to pour the sauce on top of the meatloaf and spread it into an even layer. So as you can see, we quadrupled the recipe we for like the sauce. Sassy. Because this covers two size, two servings, or two Where did my, things of meatloaf. Where did my ladle spreader thing go, that white thing go? You mean your spatula? <clears throat> yeah, use that one. The other one's got meat stuff on it. Yeah, change it. So this is two things of meatloaf. This is quadruple the recipe for the sauce. As you can see, why we double it doesn't really cover a whole lot. So 
I guess re I'd recommend doubling the sauce just to be, to be safe and it gives it a little more flavor to it. But again, that's up to you. If you want to do it that way, you can. If you don't, it's up to you. So now you just kind of spread it around the top. Just make sure you spread it evenly. So it says prep time is 10 minutes, cook time is 55. Total time is one hour and five minutes. So I'd say, yeah, it's not too bad for the prep time for us. Yeah. But. Obviously we're from Minnesota. Oop da. My mom would always say, oop da shyster. <laughs> Freaking. <laughs> Never heard that one. Really? No. Oopta Shista? No. I remember when we started dating you, we were always saying oopta a lot. It kind of fell away after a while, but you still say it once in, once in a blue moon. I think you just don't want to say it much. But yeah, so now we started. Yep. So now you throw it in the oven, cook it for 55 minutes, and then it will come back and we'll show you what it looks like. Alright, so this is what it looks like once it's done and it's out of the oven. So as you can see all the juices are still inside there. So once it cools down a little bit, it'll pull that back into the meatloaf and then it'll be super moist and juicy. And there's my sweetie right there. Excellent job, sweetie. Love you. <laughs> and we are done. Like and subscribe as always. Thank you very much.